is this potentially the rapper with the nicest watches? Buddy, your dial is fake. My balls are gone. They're shrink to shreds. G-Shock for life. I have been cock blocked by Hublot too many times. Prince Philip is an absolute lad. Like, he bucked the queen. Today, I'm gonna react to rappers' watch collections. Again, because they're so f***ing horrible. I mean, you know, jewelry is just something that's like part of you as an artist, you know what I mean? Like, I'm into jewelry, cars, fashion, you know what I'm saying, women. <laughs> What's poppin' GQ is Tiger. And he was going with Kyle, Kylie Jenner. Kylie, what if I dress up as a rapper? Do I stand a chance? This is a, um, a Richard Mill. This is an investment. He's actually saying that Richard Miller is an investment. Taiga, mate, I don't know who tells you these fibs. Unless all your investments go down, we do not consider Richard Miller a very good investment. It's not an investment, at least not a good one. Just straight factory, clean, it's an RM11. One of the most popular. Absolutely right. The RM11, an absolutely incredible watch, and I'm so happy to see he didn't ice it out with f***ing sh diamonds. Just kept it original, as you should. Well done, my friend. If I was to get this watch like five years ago, or like a couple years ago, it probably was like 70,000, you know what I mean? So it, the value goes up in it. In the watch world, we consider RM to be at their peak. There's only one thing that will happen. Prices will drop on the RMs. The current market value of his RM11 sits at $270,000. So, Taiga, is this really a good investment? It's only an investment if a watch goes up in value and after the increase, you sell it. If you paid 70 k for that watch, it is. But Taiga, the clock is ticking. I got this for the VMAs because I was like, I had a blue Margiela outfit and I was like, I just thought it was I'm not really into Hublots like that though, but I thought this one was fly. Throw this in the bin, right now. I change a lot. Like I used to be into like yellow gold, super heavy, like, you know what I mean? Like my Instagram was like king gold change, you know what I mean? He has LSD and ecstasy on his jeans. It's written on his jeans. Fuck me, mate. Everyday essential to have, you know what I'm saying? All I stop had it, all baguettes. It's definitely my favorite watch right now because it's thin, it's light. But you know what I'm saying, is get the job done. Fully factory set iced out Patek Philippe Nautilus 5990. That is a 1.5 million dollar watch, ladies and gentlemen. Like, how how big is this dude? Like, name me a big song. Rock City. Who is this guy? And how the f is he able to afford something that big? Does he have a YouTube channel? Is this potentially the rapper with the nicest watches? Taiga, mate, I like you. But it's crazy, I don't use it to tell time. I probably haven't used the watch to tell time, like, Probably never. I don't use a watch to tell the time either, mate. I'm just casually rocking a 1992 Mark 1 16600 Comex Sea Dweller. Most of you guys won't understand the importance of this watch. Check the comments below for the self-proclaimed watch expert to give you all the answers. Let's see who is right. This is straight from Patty. Anything is possible with money, right? <laughs> Anything is possible with money, even Kyle Jenner. Kyle Jenner? Is it not, is, who is it? Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner! I think at one point in my career I was addicted to find jewelry, yeah. This guy is called Little Yachty. How did I come up with these names? What would your rap name be? Medium cojones. It was like a drug because literally you buy one thing and then it just... Your jeweler must be so happy to have you as their customer. You even have a iced out padlock. You'd look at it for like a couple weeks and then it gets small, you know? It'd be big when you first bought it. Then it'll get small and then you gotta get bigger shit. I have that issue with my dick. At one point I think it's all oh, huge and then it's like, older I get it gets smaller. It's weird. I love watches. I got this Patek Philippe, rose gold, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I know what you're saying, mate. It's f***ing horrible, yes? I have swapped the face, I got the blue face. You know what I'm saying? Blue face doesn't come on the Rose Gold Protect, it comes elsewhere. Elsewhere. Yes, stop it. Just, you, you stop doing watches, little yachty. Right. I got this Jubilee, two-tone, except for mine's got the big face. This watch is very popular right now. It's kind of cheap, it's like 20 grand. But I got the biggest bezel, you know what I'm saying? I got these big ass diamonds in the face. Big old boogers make you say how to. Buddy. Your dial is fake. You have a real Rolex, you put a lot of f***ing diamonds on, then you put a dial on there, which didn't say Rolex before, but then the watchmaker writes Rolex on it. Keep in mind, it wasn't done by the Rolex watchmaker. So your dial is fake! This watch is very popular right now. It's kind of cheap. It's like 20 grand. I have also something positive to say. You are actually telling people the truth. 
Jason Derulo would say that that watch is worth $300,000 because that Jason Derulo. A custom AP easily can go for about $150,000. Your jeweler is telling you uh, fibs, probably worth about 25,000 US dollars. This guy actually keeps it real and says it's $20,000. You're nearly there. Watch is worth $17,000, but at least you're more accurate than Jason Derulo. Or Jason Derulo didn't lie, but his jeweler got him from behind. Either way, this guy keeps it real. Little Yachty, keep it real. Can you imagine me with these dreadlocks in my hair? Green hair and then dreadlocks. How about this watch? This is a Rolex, it's a Sky Dweller um, with the baguettes around the side. Me and my brother Offset both got this watch. That blue face in there, you know what I'm saying? Blue face make you say your grace, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? You just fucking destroyed an incredible, important, insanely beautiful watch. Let me give you an incentive. I will give you an original Blue Dial Sky Dweller completely for free if you publicly grab a hammer and smash that piece of shit into pieces and send me a video. This AP is special edition AP. This is from the QE Second Cup, 2006. Look at that, look at that face. It actually f***ing hurts me. In the core of my existence, my balls are gone. They're shrink to shreds. This is ridiculous. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you... Eminem! Eminem! Is he still good? I haven't heard his recent sh He had a dig at this guy. What do you call this guy? Machine Gun Kelly knocked Eminem out. I was a huge ass Eminem fan. His old style, the way I am and shit like that. Unbelievable. 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me. That's a deal, right? Ride with me. Exactly, ladies and gentlemen. What do we see there on his wrist? The rap god wears a god tier watch. And you guys always asking me, why is Casio a god tier? Because it's worn by gods. This is really cool. This is a really, really, really Really nice watch. What you see here is a gold Audemars Piquet Royal Oak skeletonized perpetual calendar. That man has taste. F me, that's nice. Eminem did a collaboration with G-Shock. Oh my God, God Shock. This is so cool. You know what? You see this watch? F it, I'm done with it. F that watch. Matches my outfit. Casio, when are we gonna make our f***ing G-Shock? Take that Comex, throw it in the bin. I'm wearing Casio, now I'm moving forward. Comex is overrated. G-Shock for life. Nico, why do you have so many G-Shocks? Mate, I just love this watch so much, so I bought it in every color. I like, and I'm colorblind, so I really, really like this red one as well. The contrast with the purple and the red, the color is unbelievable. I just bought them in every color, like, such a cool model. And I also have it in all white. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this video is not sponsored. I paid serious money for all of these. Yay is in the building! <laughs> Throw your money hands in the air right now! Put your hands in the air right now! <laughs> I know Kanye West, like, he's a funny lad. Like, is he a rapper? Is he a comedian? Is he a hairdresser? Is he a politician? Kanye West, you're a jack of all trades. Ladies and gentlemen, the 48th president of the United States of America, Kanye West! Shut the f I have ideas that can make the human race existence within our hundred years better. Are you gonna ban Hublot? Bam, talk about how many times you've been blocked. I have been cock blocked by Hublot too many times. Cock block way? It's because every time I wear a Hublot on a date, she runs off. You wear Hublot? Uh... <laughs> Let's not put that one in. <laughs> Kanye West is wearing a solid 18 karat yellow gold Rolex Date 840. Presidential bracelet, absolute cracker of a watch on such a nice hairdresser. The Cartier Crash, ladies and gentlemen. It's a weird looking watch. The vice president of Cartier got in a car accident and died in the late 60s and therefore Cartier made the Cartier Crash. What a way to honor your VP, mate. I personally would never wear a Crash, but geez, I respect Cartier so much for this watch. Cartier recently brought out a new version of the Cartier Crash. It has a waiting list. F***ing fair play, Cartier. In this photo, Kanye West is wearing a yellow G-Shock. Again, this proves Casio is a god tier. Watch! Little Wayne. Why are they always called little? What is the gangster part of the word little? Holy f***. The only thing I can see here is two uh, huge balloons. Who is that bird? This is a Casio ripoff. He basically buys a Casio, whips on his own name with a weird f***ing camel. Toe strap. Toe. <laughs> <laughs> this boy is called Solia Boy. Solia Boy, what is his name? Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. 
Holy f he's actually wearing a f***ing hublot. Look at that watch! Like, he has it on his wrist, but he could better put it on his upper arm. The chronograph is still f***ing running. You don't leave your chronograph running unless it's called Patek Philippe. Definitely with a shitty movement of hublot. You're wearing the movement out. Keep the chronograph hand at 12 o'clock sharp and don't f*** about with it. And throw your watch in a bin. What a man! Not only bucks Beyonce, but also wears a Jaeger Cult Reverso. Dating back out of 19. 1931. That watch was made for polo players. You could flip over the watch so you don't damage the face when you play polo. It would be funny to see Jay-Z playing polo, wouldn't it? Can you imagine bucking Beyonce? That's like bucket list or better say bucking list material. Who else is on your bucking list? The Queen? What a man, like, if you, if you, man? no, no, no. Like, what a man you are if you've actually done the queen. Like, Prince Philip is an absolute lad, like, he bucked the queen. Unbelievable, mate. Jay-Z is a special way of inviting people for his events. The invitations of one of his events contain a f***ing rose gold Rolex Daytona. He sent out everyone a Rolex Daytona to bribe them to come to his event, because otherwise no one would have probably shown up anyway. I would have come. Without a day till now. I would have come with a day chest. How sh must that event have been then? F***ing fair play, lad. Hey, Jay-Z, for your next event, I put my address in the description here below. Set me a Rolex as well, because I would love to come to one of your events. Guys, only Jay-Z, no one else.